Hello everyone, I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Today I'm gonna to show you how to run the Apple hardware test. To get started, shut down your computer and disconnect all external devices except for the keyboard and mouse if you have them. Also, if you're performing this test on a laptop, connect it to power and make sure it's on a flat surface with good ventilation. Now power on the computer and hold down the D key. Some Macs will load directly into the hardware test and some will need to connect to the internet first. If it needs to connect to the internet, just select your connection, enter the password and continue. The Apple hardware test screen will show up and will continue. The test will automatically do an initial probe of your Mac's hardware. When that's complete, run the test. There is an option here to run a thorough test, but be ready to wait quite a long time for it to complete. For my 2013 MacBook Pro, the test took around 10 minutes to complete. Note that during the test, it's normal to hear the fans ramp up and down as they're being tested. Once the test is complete, it will either list that there were no problems found, or it will list error codes for any problems that it found. If you do get any errors, just search the codes online for what they mean. The error code and what Mac you have will determine whether you can fix the issue or if you're going to need to send the Mac in for repair. And in case you can't boot into the operating system, you can find out information about what hardware you have by clicking on the Hardware Profile tab. So that's how to run the Apple hardware test, and if this helped you out, please hit the like button. It's the easiest way to support the channel. I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you next time.